Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the annual meeting of Allied Grape Growers. It's great to be back in person. It's been a while yeah. since they've been able to have this meeting in person. But I'm here with Emily Rooney. She was the guest speaker from the Ag Council of California. We understand that uh, all through the pandemic and even now you're working away just trying to protect the interests of California agriculture and sometimes it feels like a losing battle, I'm <laughs> right. sure. At times, but, yeah. but we appreciate the good work you do. Uh, today you gave a great update on some good news on wh what the status is and progress of, of the water projects that were funded and approved through Proposition 1. You know, that was almost 10 years ago and and no construction has actually happened yet. <laughs> so that's the bad news is that uh, it's just taken so long to get this moving. But we appreciate it. I know that you, you've been pushing them and working. Can you tell us where they're at and what hope we have for securing and protecting our water supply in the future? Yeah, thank you, Matthew. So yeah, so I did provide an um, update on the seven water projects that have been uh, funded under Prop 1. and. Uh, the, recent, the most recent information is from the California Water Commission. Uh, there are three surface water projects and four sort of groundwater related projects. Um, the three surface water projects are Los Vaqueros, uh, Pacheco Reservoir, and then of course Sites Reservoir, which is a big popular one. And at this point, it's projected that construction will, be, will begin uh, with Los Vaqueros probably in 2023, and the project will be operational around 2029. And then for Pacheco and Sites, those should both be hopefully moving dirt in 2025 and be functioning in 2030. So hopefully just around the corner, but we'll see. And all that information is on the California Water Commission site. And looking at, you know, as all this comes to fruition, how much water are we talking about saving? Right. Well, for uh, for those projects, uh, the Newsom administration is projecting that uh, there will be about 2.77 million acre feet available just through those uh, water storage projects. So that's a big deal, very important to our state. Um, and of course, those are just the projects through Prop 1, and there's a lot of regional efforts that continue as well. So as far as all that water that's going to be hopefully saved and, and, and stored, um, the, I guess the question is how much of that is potentially going to help agriculture, yeah. you know, depending on location and such? You know, that's a great question. Um, all of the projects under Prop 1 had to have a public benefit interest, and so they're all multiple use. So not just agricultural water, but also environmental, recreational, and other uses. Um, I don't know the percentage on that, but I do know that the major res reservoirs are taking requests for folks who want to get in on those projects now, so um, a lot of that is still under discussion. Great. Well, I mean, so anything is good at this point, right? right? We'll take whatever right. we can get. Yes, yeah. um, is there any any ways of potentially streamlining this process any more than, yeah. than is been yeah. happening? Because we really need water now yeah. or yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> we needed water 10 years ago, which is why this bond passed back then. But yeah, uh, yeah great question. Um, the important part of this, um, at least for Sites Reservoir, and I would actually say for the others as well, is um, the political dynamics are such that the Newsom administration is backing these projects, uh, so is the Biden administration. These are important developments. Um, Secretary Crowfoot from Natural Resources Agency just testified that uh, he was given direction to remove barriers from the permitting process and that sort of thing. So that's good That's good news. I know at least for sites, they've got some permits over at Department of Water Resources that they feel pretty good about. They did just... Uh, uh, submit their permit at the State Water Resources Control Board. Um, so we're hopeful that the administration will work to remove barriers and try to improve the pace of these projects. Great. Well, yeah. thank you for the update and thanks for the work that you're doing to, you know, keep pushing the right <laughs> buttons trying. there. Yeah, we're trying. So it's, it's, it's great that we have something happening, you know, yeah. at this point. So read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.